Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Apostle Alfred Uyinosa, the man where the talker must be, say one Christian student stoned to death for no reason for Sokoto State for Nigeria. Make I leave you, make you hear from Apostle Alfred Uyinosa. My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, good morning. The time has come for us to stand and to speak against this injustice and killings of Christians in Nigeria for no reason. Enough is enough. Just yesterday, Miss Deborah was killed just because she talked about Jesus in their WhatsApp group. She said it was Jesus that made her to pass the exam. Then the Muslim says she's blas she blasphemed against their religion. They kid her just like that. Where are the Christian leaders? You mean there is nobody to fight or to speak for the church in Nigeria? You mean the church leadership has finally lost their voice that they cannot speak for the Christians that they cannot rise up to defend the church what a shame Christians have been killed like chicken every day by these Muslim brothers and sisters for no reason what is the church leadership doing about this? Enough is enough. I'm here to, to, to see a statement made by Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. He cannot speak because he's looking for votes. Cannot speak. Deborah, may also rest in peace. Miss Deborah, may your soul rest in peace. For no reason. For no reason. They are killing Christians every day like chicken. Go to Kaduna, they are killing Christians. Go to different parts of the country. Now Christians are a target. What is the church leadership doing about these things? What is the church leadership doing about this? Now to find themselves, now they know. Vice President Yemi Oshimanjo, because you want to contest, you are not saying anything about these killings. Khan, where are you people? PFM, where are you people? Every day, Christians are being slaughtered like chicken. Nobody is talking. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. They kidnap Christians at will. The Deborah did not say anything against a Muslim. No. She only posted on the WhatsApp group saying it was Jesus that made her to pass the examination. What does that have to do with, 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 with Muslim? You mean we can no longer defend our faith? This persecution is becoming unbearable. This persecution is becoming unbearable. And this is the time everybody needs to rise up to speak against it and say enough is enough of this nonsense. Enough is enough of this madness. Enough is enough of this ungodly act against the body of Christ. We must all rise up now. We are in the church leadership. Nowhere to found. They are busy talking about Cassandra. They are busy talking about building 50 kilometer structure building. They are busy talking about glory through whatever name they call it. They are busy building five finger, but yet you cannot defend your people. Who has bewitched us? 
Who has bewitched us? Who has bewitched us? Those of you who wish to call in, let me pin the number. Who has bewitched us? Who has bewitched us? By this person. Let me pin the number for those who wish to call this morning. What is the church leadership doing about this? What is the church leadership doing about this? What is the church leadership doing about this? They put a kid like that for no reason. For talking about Jesus. The persecution against Christians is becoming alarming. While the Christians in the south, the Christians in the east, we are busy fighting ourselves. Pastors fighting against pastors. While our people are being killed like chicken. We are our fathers in the face. Nobody is speaking for us. Nobody is speaking for us. Who has bewitched us? Who has bewitched us? That we have allowed the spirit of fear to take over the Nigerian church. We have allowed the spirit of mama to take over the Nigerian church. We have allowed the spirit of competition to take over the Nigerian church. We have allowed the spirit of a summon me to think about the Nigerian church. We have allowed the spirit of unhealthy competition to take over the Nigerian church. Who had been with us? That we no longer care for ourselves. No love. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> No love. No love. No love. We no longer love ourselves. Where do the church leadership? Since yesterday, no statement made by Khan. No statement made by Christian Association of Nigeria, Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. No statement has been issued. No statement has been issued because the life of Deborah does not matter. Because the life of Deborah does not matter. No. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We will no longer keep quiet. We seek justice for Deborah now. We ask for justice for Deborah. Justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. Excuse me. Justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. We will no longer keep quiet. We will no longer keep quiet. The Buddha killed a chicken, stoned to death for no justifiable reason. For no justifiable reason. Just like that. <laughs> and the Sultan of Sokoto issued an apology. Will that apology bring her back?
with that apology, break the brother back. The faces of those young men, they saw him on media, but they will never be arrested. And they will never be persecuted, never. Because they are being covered up by their fathers. Who will speak for us? Well, this you have to do with members. Our father don't care. They don't care. The building you are building, it is people that will come and worship there. Is it the people you don't speak for? Is it the people you don't fight for? Is it the people you don't seek for their welfare that will come and worship in that mosque, that, that group to worship in that cathedral you call church? The people you are refused to defend? Is it the same people you want to come and fellowship with you? In that cathedral? Hmm. So painful. Please we seek for justice for Deborah now. Deborah, she's my sister. Because we are one body in Christ. She's my sister. What does she say? Sokoto? For as long as she's part of the body of Christ, she is my sister. She is my sister. My sister has just been killed. She's my sister. She's my sister. What is the church leadership doing about this? 20% of people kidnapped in, in Abuja line and Kanori line, they are Christians. Christians. The people that is being killed every day in Benue State are Christians. All over the country, the people that is being killed are Christians. Our people pretend as if they don't see anything. When will the church leadership rise up to speak for the people? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We will not allow, no longer allow this nonsense to continue in our city. We will no longer allow this nonsense to continue. Killing Christian like Chiki. Nobody's talking. We seek for justice for Deborah. Deborah was killed. For no justifiable reason. For no justifiable reason. And nothing will happen at the end of the day. Nothing will happen at the end of the day. Nothing will happen at the end of the day. Nothing will happen. At the end of the day, nothing will happen. It is time for the church to rise up. The time is now. Professor Yemi Osibanjo, Pastor, where are you? Pastor Yemi Osibanjo, you have not issued any statement because you want to contest. Because you know if you talk, you will not get votes. From the nuns. What a shame. What a shame. 
Khan chairman, PFM chairman, you people have not issued any statement. Because of fear of the unknown, what a shame. Church leadership everywhere, no statement. Pastor, today, Bakari, you have not issued any statement, yet you went to go and buy a nomination form in order to become the president of Nigeria. Why we in the South are busy killing ourselves, busy pulling down ourselves, and we cannot defend ourselves? Who has bewitched us? Who has bewitched us? Who have done this to us? Eventually, all our offices have been taken over by Muslims. All our junctions, all our streets, you see them selling all kind of sellable. While we are in church binding and losing, these people are taking over our territory. Enough is enough. And then you say that religion is the problem of this country, Nigeria. Religion. Religion of hate. Religion of greed. Religion of covetousness. Religion of envy and jealousy. Unhealthy competition. Religion has destroyed us. We took it to the extreme that we no longer know ourselves anymore. Where is the love? Where is the love? Christians are dying like chicken. And nowhere to run to. Nowhere to run to. Federal government, you must do something about this. Do we really have federal government? No, we don't. We don't have federal government. We don't have we even have a president. We don't even have a president. We don't even have them. Even if she's blasphemed, allow Mohammed to fight for himself. Allow the gods to fight for themselves. Not you killing people for gods. Because of fear of the unknown, nobody wants to talk. We condemn this act. We condemn this ungodly act in totality. It is time for the church to rise up. It is time for the church to rise up. Serious persecution is going on right now. Serious persecution. Serious persecution is going on right now. Serious persecution. Serious persecution. Even a number one moon I know today. Serious persecution. Serious persecution. And it is not a joke. It will not be a joke. Serious persecution. Very serious. Guys, enough is enough. The church leadership should rise up. If the church leadership fail to rise up, we will rise up. If the church leadership, the can, the PFM, if few people refuse to rise up, we the youth will rise up. If our fathers in the faith refuse to rise up, we the youth will rise up. Without fear of favor, we will rise up to defend ourselves. The brother was stoned and burned to death yesterday in Sokoto College of Education for no justifiable reason. For no justifiable reason. For no justifiable reason.
This nonsense must stop. This nonsense must stop. If our leaders refuse to rise up to the occasion, we the youth will rise up to begin to defend ourselves. This is the statement of fact. If our fathers refuse to speak for us, to defend us, we will rise up and begin to speak for ourselves. We will begin to defend ourselves. Enough is enough. We seek for justice for Deborah and other Christians that have been killed. Other Christians that, that have been killed. We seek for justice for them. Enough is enough. You get a busy building cathedral. You don't care for the people. Five finger, ten finger, thirty kilometer. The largest church in Africa. But yet your people have been killed. They are killing your people every day. For no justifiable reason. For no justifiable reason. Hmm. Hmm. do well. do well. Let us know what you think for this matter. Go to comment section, make you put your own. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try and make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video, make you help us share. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.